Greetings everyone! You are watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Lockheed Martin on Sikorsky and Boeing have released the final specifications for their new helicopter, one of two candidates to replace the U.S. Army's legendary UH-60 Black Hawk. The Defiant X isn't simply designed to take the place of the Black Hawk. It also provides Army Air Assault Forces with unmatched battlefield mobility by being able to travel up to twice as quickly and farther. As part of the Army's future long-range assault aircraft program, the Defiant X Stealth helicopter is intended to take the place of the Black Hawks that were first deployed to Army duty in the early 1980s. This helicopter is the latest in military aviation technology. It is designed to be invisible to radar, making it the perfect tool for reconnaissance and special operations missions. The helicopter can fly at high speeds and altitudes, making it difficult for enemy forces to target. It is a powerful weapon in the war as it can land quickly, deliver soldiers to the objective area, and get out. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the Defiant X Stealth helicopter. Let's know the truth about it. It is an amazing piece of machinery and an incredible feat of engineering. It is designed to be incredibly stealthy, and it lives up to that reputation. It is also one of the most agile helicopters out there, able to perform maneuvers that other helicopters simply cannot. If you're an aviation lover, this stealth helicopter should definitely be on your radar. The UH-60 has served as a solid workhorse and is frequently updated with new technology, but the Army feels it's time for a brand new aircraft that can benefit from the past 40 years of advancements in aircraft technology. The SB-1 Defiant Technology Demonstration Helicopter, which achieved 206 knots in testing and was predicted to reach 250 knots as its next milestone, gave rise to the Defiant X Helicopter, the UH-60M. The most widely used model of the UH-60 Black Hawk cruises at 149 knots. Sikorsky states that the Defiant X will fly twice as quickly as the Black Hawk but does not specify a top speed. That suggests that the top speed is at least 295 knots. Two sets of coaxial propellers let Defiant X reach this rate of speed. This configuration stabilizes the aircraft while allowing the tail section, which is generally set aside for a stabilizing tail rotor, to be used for other purposes. The new helicopter makes use of the extra room to add a push propeller, which gives it an additional source of thrust. In addition, the Defiant X is a more aerodynamic shape than the Black Hawk since it can retract its landing gear while in flight to reduce parasitic drag. It is also equipped with fly-by-wire controls. The flight computer interprets the pilot's physical actions as commands to the flight control surfaces by converting them into electrical impulses. It helps get rid of the traditional control cables and pulleys, which could get hit by enemy fire and lose control of the aircraft. Sikorsky claims that Defiant X offers a number of additional features. The helicopter has a low thermal signature to avoid detection by enemy infrared sensors and to lessen the risk of infrared-guided missiles fired from the shoulder. The 9300-pound M777 is just outside the Black Hawk's sling load capacity, but a company photograph of the Defiant X carrying an underslung M777 howitzer suggests a greater lifting capacity. The helicopter's agility, according to Sikorsky, is far greater than that of earlier models, enabling it to fly over uneven terrain and through forests at low altitude, including the megacities that the Army predicts will serve as future battles. Medium transport helicopters in the same weight class as the Defiant X are frequently outfitted with two-door mounted 7.62mm machine guns, providing them with a basic capacity for self-escort. While Sikorsky's photographs of the Defiant X show an unarmed aircraft, production models will almost certainly be armed. One possibility would be remote weapon systems with improved accuracy and use at high speed, akin to the Army's Crow system for ground vehicles. Unfortunately, these devices would reduce the lifting capacity of the Defiant X because they are heavy, at least for now. The Bell V-280 Valor and Defiant X will compete for the FLRAA contract in 2022, and the first aircraft will be delivered to Army aviation units by 2030. What are your thoughts about this stealth helicopter? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.